Good morning, YouTube. Today, we got a beautiful build for you. You know it's a staple here at Stint's Build. When you come over to our YouTube page, and you see a beautiful PC being built. But today, we've got an absolute monster because we have the NZXT H9 Flow finally showing itself on the stream. And it's been quite some time. It's been maybe a couple months since we've seen it here on the channel. Well, sure you think down below in the comments, make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm over here on YouTube. And remember, we really just in this live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Like we are right now building this beautifully specced system with the NZXT H9 Flow, a 1300K, an MSI Supreme X, a 4090. We've got 10 uni fans going in this beautiful H9 Flow case. And remember, come and check us out live when you can next time. Uh, Twitch.tv slash stints at 10 a.m. Eastern, any Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we hope to see you soon. And see what kind of specs we're working with today, chat, because we've got an absolute beauty over here. Absolute beauty that are fitting on that table right there. Coming in with the uh, specs today, H9 Flow today, guys, like we talked about here. 1300K going on the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Wi Fi, one of the, our favorite boards that we have here, always in the shop. Actually, we've got, we're at, it's our last board we have in the shop today. We've got a couple more cases coming in on Monday, thank God. Power supply today with the GF3 1200 watt. We got custom mod cable, cable custom cables, cable mod custom cables. We have to grab out of the shop that came in uh, for this build. We've got uh, 32 gigs of 6400 megahertz DDR5, the CL32, that Kingston Renegade, one of our favorite RAM kits we have. The Kingston KC3000, our primary drive today. 10 SL120 fans today are gonna uh, go on this system. And then we've got a LCD cooler coming from Corsair. It's the 150i Elite uh, XT cooler. Absolutely beautiful system. We're gonna get started on today's build. I'm gonna get mic'd up. I'm gonna grab the cables. I'll see you guys over there. So let's go look at that beautiful, beautiful, Oh, sheesh. Look at that, chat. Let me get mic'd up. Let's get started. All right, guys? We got some crazy cables today, chat. I love it. Black and green. Uh-oh. All right, let's go over the top, guys. We're going to do the... Um, Julie, good morning. Uh, we're going to do the motherboard. This motherboard at the level of the Asus Hero? Uh, I wouldn't say the level of the Asus Hero. I mean, the Hero is, like, this own level. Like, you have to get, like, the godlike from MSI for that. And honestly, at that point, unless you're doing like some serious, serious overclocking, those boards are really, really kind of overkill if you're just gonna be mostly just gaming. You're mostly just looking for a good gaming motherboard with good reliability, good VRMs, good for memory timings, things like that. The Tomahawk, the Edge, the Strix, those are all boards that you wanna run. The reason I'm like um, on these, like the cases we're doing today, the reason we have the intake at the bottom and the top is to get a lot of airflow in. We're exhausting through the top, kind of like a funnel. And then the exhaust is also in the rear. So we're, we're exhausting four exhaust fans and we're only taking six. That's a very good amount. If you're gonna be exhausting like, let's say seven fans and then taking three, you're gonna be pulling dust in a lot more dust in your case because it's trying to create that extra, that pressure that's being voided by all the exhausting of the, of the attempts. So you wanna kind of have just a constant flow. Um, that's a negative. Uh, you wanna have more positive airflow than negative. All right, NVMe drive, let's get this in. Sorry about that. We got caught up in a few other things, but let me get this drive in. Yeah, uh, this will have, yeah, well, six intake and four exhaust. That's plenty on this one. That's what we usually do on all of our uh, Evo systems. We get really good temps. We don't. We get very little dust, um, and it looks and it looks good too. Some people do some other crazy combinations, and in my opinion, it just doesn't look. It, it just isn't as efficient. Because they want to show off the RGB more, the fans, which I can understand that. I mean, the fans look great. The great thing about the Uni fans when you're doing them like this, they look great no matter kind of how however you use them. Um, so we try to be pretty good. And clean, and clean rooms 101, yeah. Yeah, this case of is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gonna look really good today, guys. You're in for a absolute treat. And the drive is in. Next is gonna be our CPU today. Today's CPU, 13900K. Socket looks phenomenal, that's what I like to see. Oscillating desk fan, I mean, I have one of those, and I we have one of those right here in my office here. Dude, this this office right here of the stream room gets toasty sometimes. Let's get this in chat, and our back, our back plate in for our cooler. Today's cooler is the H150i coming in from Corsair. Fantastic little cooler. That's a little actually, sorry about that. It's a pretty good sized cooler. It's a little cooler, but it's not a little cooler. All right guys, um, let's get our case out. 1300K, we got our standoffs for our LCD cooler coming in the H150i. 32 gigs of 6400 megahertz RAM from Kingston. Our KZ3000, and get our 1300K all in the beautiful Z790 Tomahawk. Let's move this aside. We're gonna get that beautiful case out. The H9, the elusive H9 flow. All right. Get this case out, man. It's been a hot minute since I built this case. I think it's been like, honestly, I haven't built this case probably in like two months since it came out. So we've only had one left. And nobody surprisingly wanted to order it. They all wanted Evos. So uh, shout out to Benjamin, whose build we're doing today. He's like, I want that one. And I said, okay, you can have it. Oh, so let's give your front close up. 
A beautiful H9 float today. There she is. Oh, what looks so great about this is the zero edge that uh, the Lean Lean does not have or possess. It comes standard here. How about the front panel glass? I do like the Toolist design versus the Lean Lean. I'll give them, a, I'll give them prop slash credit there. What do you guys think of this case? Do we like it? Are we, are we H9 enjoyers? Oh, I forgot these, oh, the, the fans come out on these too, the trays in these. Mm. Wait, does the bottom tray not come out in this case? I can't remember. It doesn't, I forgot about that. That's the only flaw of this case. The Evo beats it for the one, that one reason, and it's the bottom fan. The bottom fan, the bracket comes out. The cable management this does beat the Lee and Lee, though. I'll give that credit. All right, let's take out some of these fans, all right, chat? So we're not using any of these. We're gonna be replacing with the Udi fan today. How you doing, Carl? Good to see you, man. All right, you guys, we're gonna go top down. We're gonna start on this motherboard. I've had a lot, I've had coffee and I'm on an energy drink today, guys. I'm a little hyper today, okay? Yes, more time? Mm-hmm. Got a lot of screwing to do. So if you like the sound, I mean, got a lot, got a lot of screws to put in this board, or in this case. <laughs> so if you like that kind of ASMR, then by all means, that's what you're gonna hear. I'm red in the face right now. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> all right, I'll give you a front close up of this beautiful, beautiful case. Oh boy, not as heavy as Eva, which is nice. Still bulky, but not as heavy. Man, that looks good. That does look sharp. That is a sharp looking case. If I do say so myself. We took up our front panel cables. We're gonna take out these side fans, which are gonna be utilizing those things go. Look at them go. I mean, it does beat the Evo in terms of cable management. Look at all the space you have back there to run those beautiful, beautiful cables like we just did. But now it's time to work on these SL fans. There we go. Where are the fans? Getting the fans all linked together. Chat, look at those beautiful SL fans today. The only thing I don't like about this case, you have to turn on the side just for the bottom fans. But hey, it is what it is. All the bottom fans are in, chat. We'll flip this back around. We've got our bottom fans in. Today, we are, next we have to put in our side fans. We have a fun one. We gotta mount a commander. We gotta mount the uh, Lee and Lee pump. We got a lot of stuff to do today on this one, still. But we're getting there, chat. There are fans. There they are. Let's get these in place. How are the fans configured? I take bottom and side. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, bottom and side, and then exhaust top and rear. It's the best way to do it in these cases. Side fans are in. Now let's start working on that cooler chat. Let's get our cooler. Okay, we have the H150i Elite LCD. All right, let's get these screws and chats. All of our fans are in there. We're going to mount this now. The top of this, the rad. All right, looking good. Let's work on a rear fan as well. Run this up and over. We have my, obviously matter pump here in a second, but I'm just working on getting the cables up and in. How oh, you connect all the fans, Lean Lean Controller? Yes, the controller, yep. Controller and then the fans, the PWM aspect of them will be controlled by, um, the PWM aspect will be controlled by the uh, the cooler, or by the, uh, the H150i cooler. The only thing that slows down systems right now is like a, a one-off GPU that might be really rare, or like custom cables from Cable Lock. Cable Lock cables right now are eight to 12 weeks, even with our partnership with them, it's just, it's insane. Move this round chat, there we go. Looking good, looking good. All right. all right, let's get the other one we need to get as our other hub. Let's get that all wired in and we're working on a power supply. All right, on to the cable mod cables. Cable mod today. Let's get the run just like that. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get our 24 pin main motherboard in. Come back up into the power supply. Noise. All we have left to run is our total high power. Let's get our power supply out now, chat. Uh, don't need any PCIe today. We'll need an, uh, we won't need the EPS one, I think. We got all the cables already running. Sheesh. Don't think we're gonna need out of this. It's gonna be a SATA cable today. All these other cables can go back in the box or in the bag. You just need a SATA. It's the only thing it's not, you don't see in the back end. No point in spending money on a SATA cable back here. We have, we, we flip it around all the time. Is it a command for it? We typically have this USB camera working, but we just change motherboards and processors. Our USB bus is good, but there's cables so far. Yep. <sighs> That's, this right here you see is hanging. It's gonna Velcro to the back panel right there and shut. So there's not a lot of cables. But since we only had a question, he could not hear the answer because of the ads. How many fans can I put in an H7 case? You can put uh, in an H7 case, we'll technically do push pull on it, but uh, we do seven. We recommend seven fans. Uh, you can do four 140s and three 120s. That's for the three for the cooler, yes. So you put four in the front, or, th or three in the front. You put 140s in the front, and then you can put um, a 140 in the rear exhaust in that case. So you do four like four RGB fans that are 140s. As so we have all the cables running up the side to the hub, which is gonna sit like this. 
So you can see they're all zip tied nice against the side here. The cable mod cable is wrapped up and back around into the power supply. SATA comes down into the side as well to plug in our SATA power. All the bottom is open. Like we have so much room for cable management in this case. That's why they made this case so well. And then we're gonna run our only thing we're gonna throw is our, our, um, our GPU cable, which is right here. It should come down on this main line and underneath or through the side here. But um, super nice and neat. All right, guys, we're on to, I think we're on to something called the GPU. And today we have the beautiful RTX 4090. Not just any 4090 today, Chad. We've got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful MSI Supreme X, which is gonna look absolutely killer in this case. We all love the Supreme. We all love the chonky boy. Look at the size of that thing. Shush. Look at this. I say this is behemoth, man. Look at the size of this chonker. Right there, look at that thing. Shush. So let's get this behemoth in, this chonker. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, this is gonna have a thunk, all right? We're gonna have a thunk today. We're gonna have a thunk. You guys ready for this? See if we can get a good audio sound here. Guys, thanks for the subs over on YouTube again. Here we go with the thunk. RTX 4090 Supreme going in. Dude, it's heavy. Let's line it up in this case. Here we go, chat, ready? Chungus going in. Oh, that was a thunk right there, chat. That was a thunker. This is a great case. The, the top's a little, a little, a little tight on cable management. But the back is mixed up for it, hands down over leanly. Use the brackets to hold them up. I'll be recommending getting secondary ones. So uh, this one I would recommend. The Supremes come with a really nice bracket. A re like, it's crazy because it's not much, it's only a couple, like $100 more than the Trio usually. Um, but they come with a really, they do come with a nice bracket, like a nice little like kickstand. All right, let me get this cable in chat. This beautiful cable mod, custom cable for the GPU. Back up and in. And we go with that beautiful custom cable today from Cable Mod. Shout out to Cable Mod. There we go, and all in. Look at that, that looks pretty right there. Come off that GPU. That's just gonna come up, wrap around, go right, oh my gosh. The, I did measure it pretty well. I measured these cables today, so. It's, it's got the old school like Mountain Dew vibes. We are done, chat, with this absolute beauty of a PC today. Look at that, what are you guys thinking? How are we feeling about this one today? Oh, you guys wanna see the back panel. You guys wanna see all the, you can't really see the cable manager with the back panel, but. You don't, you don't see cables back there shoved all around. It, look, it looks really nice. She's a baddie, yes sir. The front panel's missing something for, different for once, right? It's a little different. It looks clean, very clean back there. Let's get ready to light it up, all right? Let's get some light ups in chat. Let's go. Get the music going for River. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.